Uh, 23 minutes past eight. A secret hoard of nearly 300 unknown works by Pablo Picasso worth around £50 million has been uncovered in a garage of a retired electrician in France. Pierre Lejeunec says he was given the paintings and drawings in the last years of the artist's life, but he's now at the centre of a legal battle with relatives of Picasso who claim the works must have been stolen. The art critic Estelle Lovett is here. Hello, Estelle. Good morning. And there were 270-something Picasso drawings yeah. and paintings that this electrician had? In his suitcase, 271. 271. And how did he get them? Well, that's where it becomes really interesting and really the case for a spy film. He says, first of all, he said Picasso gave them to him after he had fixed three alarms in his three homes and also did a few odd jobs around the house for him. Then he changed his mind and said, no, actually, it was Picasso's second wife, Jacqueline, mm. that gave him all the works. Now, it's very interesting because amongst these magnificent works, there are also paintings of Picasso's first wife. So may, it may have been indeed that Jacqueline, <laughs> the second wife, decided to mm. get rid of every sort of evidence of the first yeah. and give them away. But what doesn't quite add up is Picasso was extremely calculating, extremely clever. He kept everything, his bullfight tickets, his metro tickets, even bits of string to uh, re-put into some of his cubist um, paintings because he knew that whenever he gave anything away, it would help somebody in the future because they'd be bound to sell it. So whenever he gave something to somebody personally, he would al always write a dedication or an inscription. So it was more personal. Mm. Mm. And, and this doesn't have any of that. And the reason this is so important to the Picasso estate is because if you put, suddenly put 270 paintings or pictures on the market, it uh, rather lowers the value of Picasso. Absolutely. So six of Picasso's heirs are now taking this to court and saying, you know, it doesn't quite add up. But, you know, it may be. I mean, they're saying, um, you know, it's been stolen. But what does that actually mean? What does stolen actually mean? If Picasso threw them in the bin and the electrician was scouting around doing the wiring and, and saw them and thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll take those. You know, is that how much? Well, are they preliminary sketches or are they finished? Some of them are preliminary, pre preliminary sketches, which are, which are also worth a lot because they indicate his thought process to, towards his finished paintings. But there's some wonderful finished paintings. Um, there's a, a watercolour from, from his blue period. There's about nine magnificent cubist oils. Wow. So it's a really big mm. find. Yeah. If it's so innocent, why did he wait 30 years and then suddenly say, oh, I've got this suitcase? Well, he's in his 70s, so is his wife. What happened was they, um, they sent some grainy photographs, as an amateur would take, to Claude Picasso, the son, who's running the estate now, and said, can you authenticate these for me? I'm not an art collector, but your dad gave them to me, and I'm getting on now, and I'm thinking of my grandchildren. We want to leave everything in order. Um, yeah. And those, those, those painters used to give away, as you say, if, if they stayed in a hotel or you know, for whatever reason or had a meal and they couldn't pay for it because they were struggling, they did tend to give away their art. You're right. And Picasso actually also at the beginning used to burn some of his canvases to keep warm. But what is interesting is that Picasso used to do document and number everything he had and right. everything he gave away. Mm. And only some of these works have numbers on them. But the numbers are so exact to the way that Picasso worked that that's also confusing yeah, it matters. It just sounds slightly implausible. You know, oh, Pablo, I've fixed your block sink. Can I have a, something from your blue collection? Or, you know what I mean? It doesn't quite work. <laughs> You do, well, you do a quick plumbing job, you get a picture. When, when, <laughs> when in, in this period of Picasso's life was it? Was it when, when he was a well-established artist or it, when it was he was a struggling artist? From 1900 to about 1932. Oh. So he'd just come from Barcelona to Paris, are, the, art, have, the yeah. centre of the art world. It's from that whole period. So some of it is early, but some of it is later. But that wasn't when the plumber was working for him. No, the plumber was working... For, exactly. Well, actually, you know, also the plumber says that he gave them to him um, three years before he, Picasso died. Yeah. So, you know, some it's of it's... Okay. It's fascinating. It's really interesting. Really interesting. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. <laughs>